This story on the positive impact of gaming on mental health also talks about some physical health benefits, but this is from our friend in the land down under. Hi, I'm 46 and Australian. I've been gaming since the early 1980s, but it has helped me in so many ways over those 35 plus years. Early in life, I was found to have major issues with hand-eye coordination, but very smart. My parents tried everything they could to help me improve my coordination with only minor success. In the mid-1980s, my father purchased a PC for his work. He was a family law specialist solicitor. He sat me in front of the PC and told me to learn how to use it and then teach his staff. It was a daunting task for a six-year student to get that job, but I did it. As a reward and a birthday present, I got a wireframe graphics game called Flight Leader. That started me on my path as a gamer. There was no manual and no tutorial, so I had to figure it out for myself. Landing was a real pain, but I managed to figure it out and solve the problem. As I got older, I started to play touch football, and due to a car accident in 1995, I was unable to play the game beyond that point, despite my best efforts to recover. I ended up turning to gaming to take my mind off my inability to run and step like I used to. In 1996, I was diagnosed with depression, and it really made my mental health crash, so I escaped to gaming for something else to focus on. A guy a few years older than me, whom I met at a university, introduced me to online gaming and a first-person shooter modification for Half-Life called Counter-Strike. I started off walking around the maps getting slaughtered, but as I learned the maps, I developed strategies to fight back in future rounds. As I played more of this game, I found that my hand-eye coordination started to improve. My coordination improved dramatically over the years, so much so that in 2002 I was invited to go professional by what was the best clan in Australia at the time. I made a lot of friends during this time too as I attended LAN parties every couple of weeks with up to 110 people at a time. I turned down the invite to go professional as I did not like the person I was becoming and I went back to single player games as a stress reliever as I found it hard to find work that lasted for more than a few weeks at a time. In 2006 I got married to my wonderful wife, yes we're still married, and we would play games together on occasion. My children have grown up around gaming and it has taught them skills and developed their coordination considerably over the years. I try to spend time playing with them on games like Minecraft, Terraria, Fortnite and many others. They don't really enjoy the classics that I got on the Atari 